welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting patient who came in uh, with a complaint of that their vision was blurred and uh, wasn't really sure, they weren't really sure how long it had been going on for, but slowly over the last year or so they, their vision had gradually decreased. And so a lot of times when you th see someone come into the office that way, the first thing you think is well, maybe they have cataracts. But in this particular case, this uh, lady did not have cataracts. She had what's called band keratopathy. And so what she had actually is a deposition of calcium or and or phosphorus uh, deposits on the surface of her cornea, the clear part of the eye. So this deposits happen usually on the anterior layers of the eye. Uh, down to a layer called Bowman's membrane. Sometimes it penetrates below Bowman's membrane depending on how long it's been present for and it actually is a band. So it looks like a a band across the cornea that is whitish in appearance and if it's dense enough and located in the pupil area uh, then it can obstruct the vision and in her case that's what was happening. So what causes band keratopathy? It can be from several different causes. Uh, if you were a young person and had this developed, then you'd have to worry about is your uh, blood levels of your calcium very high, highly elevated. Um, such diseases as hyperparathyroidism. Uh, it happens in certain multiple myeloma malignancies. Uh, it happens in certain people in renal failure. It happens with certain eye diseases, such as someone has a very sick eye. They've had a lot of trouble with their eye, and they have what's called tysis bulbi, which the pressure in the eye is very low or, or zero, and it is a sick eye. People develop calcium deposits in those situations. Chronic trauma to the eye, uh, a drug called pilocarpine that was used many years ago for glaucoma, uh, the mercury um, in there could uh, cause that to develop uh, band keratopathy and uh, so there are several things that can cause it uh, and then there is, but there is treatment for it so this lady we're going to be scheduling her to go in and remove this calcium deposit and the most common treatment is is we go to the operating room and then we place on the eye uh, either a, a alcohol solution that loop, loosens the epithelium off or you can actually scrape the epithelium off the cornea and then you apply um, EDTA which is a calcium chelating agent so it binds to the calcium and draws it out of the cornea and, uh, and sometimes we have to scrape or rub along as it comes loose and that works pretty well in most cases after the, that case is over, we typically apply a self-contact lens to cover over the epithelium has been removed so the eye is not that painful afterwards. If it doesn't respond well to that, then also laser correction that we use to correct actually someone's vision uh, because they're nearsighted or farsighted with a laser, that laser cuts or remove, removes corneal tissue so you can have a therapeutic PRK or laser treatment in severe cases that don't respond to EDTA. So uh, this doesn't happen very often, but when you do see it, um, then the good thing is is that it is treatable. So if you have any questions about this type of thing with the band keratopathy or any other eye question, you'd be happy to contact us through the website and we'll try to answer those questions for you. If not, may God grant you with healthy eyes and great vision and you have a great day.